Hello viewers, welcome back to this special series focused on the prevailing myths in real estate business. Today we will talk about the second myth which a lot of marketers believe in. Lowering home prices would result in larger demand for homes. Quite often marketers, especially those not from real estate industry, suggest that developers should drop their prices. Their rationale is that fall in prices will expand the market. Unfortunately, it does not happen so in real estate. You know, when price of iPhone drops, its demand increases. The same happens even to commodities like jute, aluminium, polyester fiber, etc. Lower prices typically increase affordability of consumption items. Remember, consumption items and thus expand the markets. Now, an exactly opposite response to lower prices is seen on the stock market. In a bearish market, most investors believe that they would derive more value by postponing their purchase. This is because equity shares are purchased not for consumption but with the sole purpose of selling them at a higher price in future. So when prices of equity shares fall, it scares away many buyers. And in bearish market, one generally sees lower turnover on the stock exchanges. So for consumption items like iPhones, falling prices expand the market. And for investment items like equity shares, falling prices contract the market. Now, when it comes to demand for homes, situation actually gets very complex. Home demand comprises consumption demand as well as investment demand. And even amongst those buying for consumption, there are two kinds of buyers. One, who postpone their purchase in a falling market since they see value in the savings. And two, those who buy in a falling market because they see value in the number of options offered in a falling market. So due to these factors, generating a demand curve for homes is a very complex exercise. Now there's one more very interesting and unique phenomena about home market. When prices of new homes drop, potential home buyers also get lower realization for their existing homes. Therefore, falling prices of new homes also shrinks the budget of home buyers and this lowers demand. And lastly, real estate market also has large inefficiencies and market imperfections. All these factors put together make generating a demand curve for real estate an extremely complex exercise. And therefore, many principles of economics that are used to analyze markets for commodities and various consumed products actually do not apply to real estate. And therefore, the real estate market does not respond the way microeconomics suggests. So if you have friends who wonder why real estate prices are so high despite such a long slowdown, this video would probably help them address their concern.